Exclusive, arsonist arrested as California fires kill 42, one reason media isn't reporting. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Director Tom Homan confirmed on Thursday that an arsonist has been arrested as devastating wildfires in California burned 245,000 acres and claimed 42 lives. However, there's one reason the media isn't reporting on the apprehension of this particular suspect, and it'll make you furious. It's darn near impossible to find an outlet reporting on the arrest of Jesus Fabian Gonzalez, an illegal alien who was deported a whopping five times in the past year before he was ultimately caught red-handed starting a fire in California. However, on Thursday, the Gateway Pundit released a report titled Ice Confirms Arsonist Behind California Fires is Five-Time Deported Illegal Alien. The TGP report stated, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Director Tom Homan confirmed on Thursday the man arrested in connection to setting fires in California is a five-time deported illegal alien. Jesus Fabian Gonzalez was arrested several times but ICE was never notified because he was arrested in a sanctuary county. The deadly fires in Northern California have caused over $1 billion in damages. 42 people have died in the fires. However, if you try to share their report on Jesus Fabian Gonzalez's arrest to Facebook, the social media giant redirects you to factcheck.org. According to Fact Check's headline, there have been no arrests for California wildfire. The watchdog claims, Jesus Fabian Gonzalez was arrested for setting a small fire near the bridge where he had been living in Sonoma County on October 15, a week after the major fires began. He is charged with one felony count of arson, Sergeant Spencer Crum told FactCheck.org. He was charged with arson, but not for all the fires that have caused devastation over the last 10 days, Crum said. It was a small fire that was put out within minutes by the local fire department, he said. So, an illegal alien was arrested for starting a fire within days of the massive California wildfires but we're all just supposed to look the other way and never even considered the possibility that he might have had something to do with a larger blaze which killed 42 legal residents? Fact Check claims there have been no arrests in connection to the California wildfires and then, in the next breath, states that Jesus Fabian Gonzalez was arrested for setting a small fire. What the heck? Gonzalez has not been charged with setting the massive blaze which burned a staggering 245,000 acres, but is it so inconceivable that he couldn't be as authorities continue to conduct their investigation? ICE Director Tom Holman apparently doesn't think so. Once again, a non-cooperative jurisdiction has left their community vulnerable to dangerous individuals and preventable crimes, he said in a statement. ICE lodged a detainer against Jesus Gonzalez with Sonoma County Jail officials on October 16, following his arrest on felony charges for maliciously setting fire to a property. This is especially troubling in light of the massive wildfires already devastating the region, he continued. Over the past year, ICE has lodged detainers against Mr. Gonzalez after four separate arrests by Sonoma County on various felony and misdemeanor charges. ICE was never notified of Mr. Gonzalez's various releases, added Hallman. Additionally, Mr. Gonzalez has been returned to his home country of Mexico on two separate occasions. The residents of Sonoma County, and the state of California, deserve better than policies that expose them to avoidable dangers. Non-cooperation policies, now enshrined in California state law, ensure only one thing, criminals who would otherwise be deported will be released and left free to reoffend as they please. So, why won't the media report that a five-time deported illegal alien is setting fires in the same area where massive wildfires have devastated California? And, why doesn't Facebook want you to share that information? Perhaps because Governor Jerry Brown just signed legislation making California the very first sanctuary state. This isn't exactly the news you want getting out right after opening the floodgates for millions of other dangerous illegals. There is a major media cover up underway, folks, and social media appears complicit in the effort to keep this information from the public. From the public.